Hey, what's up everyone? Lex here, and today I'm going to be talking about the announcement of the century, at least for me. Uh, a couple days ago, I posted a video about uh, Spike Chunsoft teasing a brand new Fire Pro Wrestling game, and we have an announcement back on March 2nd, uh, GDC. They held a press conference uh, of sorts where they talked about a few games, and one of those games was Fire Pro Wrestling World. Now, the reason they're calling it Fire Pro Wrestling World is because it's getting a simultaneous release. That's right. There is no waiting. There is no waiting at all. Everybody's getting it at the same time. So, Fire Pro Wrestling Returns released in 2005 in Japan and North America and all over every English-speaking country had to wait two years for Age Tech to translate and bring it here. And the translation, by the way, was not very good at all. So I have all the details here, and I'm going to go over those details in just a minute. And then after that, I'm going to give my overall thoughts of the game and uh, where I stand with it. Uh, now, this is something I have been waiting for for a long time, and something that I honestly probably just gave up on, thinking that we were ever going to get a Fire Pro Wrestling game again. But here we are. Uh, the release for the game is slated for Steam and PS4 with an early access release in quarter two of this year for Steam. Uh, and the Steam version will include workshop support, which is huge, and I'll tell you why in just a bit. But it looks like the PS4, you might have to wait a little bit if you're going to grab it for that system. Now, the cool thing about early access is that we the players are going to be able to help them shape this game. Uh, basically, they're going to say, here's the game, as we have it now, play it, what works, what doesn't work, what needs to be improved, what would you like to uh, see added, and that, that goes for everything. Moves, modes, appearances, uh, you know, functions, maybe some creation tools, things of that nature. We are going to be able to play this game and let them know what we want from the final release of this game, which is super exciting and something I never thought would have happened. As for players, you're looking at eight local players on Steam and four local players on PS4. So for the first time in any Fire Pro Wrestling game, we're getting online play. Online play. This is something that people have been wanting for years and years and years, is to be able to go online and fight each other on Fire Pro Wrestling. What does the online play detail? Now, I'm getting all of this from a forum on fpwarena.com, which is, in my opinion, the number one place for anything Fire Pro. So go to fpwarena.com and sign up there if you want to know more about Fire Pro, if you want to get involved in the community. Great people there, great people who run the site, and really a strong community for Fire Pro Wrestling. But online play, we're looking at four human players in online matches. But developers are working on supporting up to six. Online modes include Exhibition, Tournament, League, Championship, and Battle Royal, and a CPU versus CPU dedicated spectator mode. Now, what that means is basically you can pick two guys, CPU versus CPU, and just watch them fight. I essentially say, you know, here's my guy, you pick your guy, and we'll let them fight and see who wins, which is awesome. I love spectator. In fact, that's pretty much all I do with Fire Pro Wrestling is just watch the matches, set up two matches or set up two uh, guys against each other and watch and see what happens. Uh, match types overall include exhibition, tournament, league, championship, battle royal, death match, including steel cage, uh, barbed wire, landmines, MMA, and no holds barred, gruesome fighting. So basically, what we have in Fire Pro Returns, there's nothing new there. Uh, no ladder matches. I know a lot of people have uh, voiced their opinion over Fire Pro having ladder matches for a long time now. Uh, personally, I don't care about ladder matches, but I know a lot of uh, Fire Pro fans do. Doesn't seem like we'll have it, at least not in the early access. Alright, for edit features, we're looking at 30 original default wrestlers who are not going to be parodies of real-life wrestlers, as has been uh, the norm for Fire Pro in the past. They're really trying to avoid any legal ramifications from this and I cannot blame them and I don't mind the 30 wrestlers at all I always end up building my own wrestlers and plus we're gonna have a lot of people on here that are just going to build fantastic packs for you guys uh, you won't even have to worry about it 
over 2,000 moves and parts, 80 new moves at launch, uh, with possible new moves as downloadable content in the future. And I'm, I'm thinking they're, they're saying free downloadable content, uh, not paid. But if it is paid, I don't mind supporting it either way. Four appearances per edit, which is huge. In Fire Pro Returns, we were only able to get one appearance per edit. So if you wanted to make a new appearance for a wrestler, you'd, have, you'd essentially have to copy them and make another form of them, uh, which was a hassle. Being able to have four appearances per edit is huge, uh, especially for us E-Fed guys when we want to change up the appearance of guys. We don't want them wearing the same exact thing every single match, and we don't want to have to go in and, and copy and reset the parameters for a new uh, copy of that wrestler just to change his attire. Nine appearance layers, uh, which is pretty big too. Just more stuff we can add on, and uh, that really changes up how many possible outputs we can have with these edits. Full RGB color support, front and back view of edits, which is big, because uh, as it stands right now, you can only see kind of like a front view of the edit, but he's also kind of turned a little bit, so you can see this a little bit of the side too. Uh, but this, as, as I show in pictures here, front and back of the edits huge huge thing um, also hair layer is separate from the head which is another huge thing see a lot of uh, all the all the heads or at least most of the heads in fire pro returns all come with hair and so if you wanted the face but you didn't want the hair you were you know, you know it's tough you, you, you couldn't do anything about it now it sounds like you can pick whatever head you want and put whatever kind of hair on that you want which is going to add to a lot better uh, representations of uh, the real world wrestlers that people end up making. CPU logic is integrated into the move list menu. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll see. Uh, CPU logic is extremely important to Fire Pro Wrestling, but it's also one of those uh, very steep learning curve things that I do plan on making a tutorial about so that if you guys want to make your own wrestlers and you want to get into the logic, meaning you want to basically program their AI, I will get into the proper way to do that so that you have good matches and not matches that are ending on, uh, you know, like a, an elbow to the head or something like that that's not very forceful. So that's pretty much what we know right now about Fire Pro Wrestling World. Uh, this, the workshop support is huge. We're going to be able to mold this game before it comes out. I'm glad that they're able to work with us from all countries to be able to make this game uh, into the proper sequel to Fire Pro Wrestling Returns that we've all been waiting for. So at first I was a little worried because when I saw the trailer for this, it looks exactly like Fire Pro Returns, and I was hoping that we'd get a little bit better of an update to the graphics. Uh, but overall, I can't really complain because Fire Pro Returns actually look pretty good to me. Uh, and this is looking, even if it's slightly, it's still looking better. Um, so there's that. Definitely want to push for some sort of management mode in this game, whether it be, you know, creating your own promotion and running it in a world, a, a persistent world, uh, kind of like a, a Total Extreme Wrestling tech sim thing. I want to push for that. I know it's highly unlikely to happen, but I want to try to see if we can get it to, to stick. Uh, I'll also be making tutorials for you guys because Fire Pro Wrestling it has a steep curve to get into. A lot of people look at it and say, you know, that's just too much to learn. I'm going to try to help you guys as much as possible if you want to get into Fire Pro Wrestling Returns. If you have any questions at all, you can go to fpwarena.com or you can hit me up on Twitter, at Lex Marston. I have no problem answering Fire Pro questions. I have done streams where I show people how step-by-step uh, -step to do logic. I've got no problems, so if you want to learn about Fire Pro, I have no problems teaching you. I'm going to put together some tutorials for you guys so that you know how all this is done. Uh, but other than that, I'm just really excited for Fire Pro Wrestling World. I can't believe we're getting a new Fire Pro Wrestling uh, with a simultaneous release. There's no waiting, there's no importing anymore, uh, no bad translations, hopefully. We can, we can really get that on track. There's no reason for a bad translation these days. Uh, We've got so many people in the community that even, even speak Japanese, so let's hope that everything goes right with this game, and I hope you guys support it so we can get even more in the future. Anyway, until next time, see you guys later.